The Clash team has been really active the last few days sharing prototype gameplay and vaguely answering important questions you have regarding the Builder Base 2.0 update. What's going on my friends? My name is Joe, welcome back to the show, and today we have 10 things you might have missed in the Clash of Clans news and the Reddit Q&A. Here's what's been established already. The Builder Base is expected to be redesigned in 2023, in case you missed that, and Versus Battles is being removed as explained here. Or there there won't be versus battles in Builder Base 2.0. So they're removing versus battles. But they didn't really go into any details on what's going to be implemented to replace that system. So that's going to make things very interesting in regard to Builder Base because that's something that we've seen since day one is the PvP format. And with that being removed, will they end up going into a format that's more like the home village where you just go out and attack regular bases? But then they would have to change the loot system as well. So with my speculation from a few months ago fresh in your mind, let's take a look at the official Q&A from Reddit, starting with, is the loot system going to be changed in the Builder Base rework, or are we going to have a new loot gaining system? With Stuart from the Clash team saying, yeah, it's going to be more similar to the home village in that there's more freedom in how much you play and earn loot. We are still figuring out the specifics more, but we'll share details when they're more final in future blogs. So it sounds like the three attack loot limit is going away from the the builder base and that's going to make a lot of you guys happy another concern for a lot of you guys was whether the six builder was going to be removed from the home village or the requirements changed which we discussed in a previous video the clash team's response was we don't plan on removing content people have unlocked from builder base and on another post they said the six builder for the home village will stay the task to unlock might change though not certain on the details we don't like encouraging rushing these extremely specific things to be done we'll probably try and make the task a bit more general. Which tells me that Clash does not like it when I teach you how to rush to unlock the six builder, meaning they're going to make it harder. So be sure to follow the current guide link down in the description below and do it now before it changes. And then a lot of you guys out there have been asking whether there's going to be a builder hall level 10 for the builder base 2.0 rework, which we just found this response from Daring saying, yes, yeah, Stuart mentioned that builder hall 10 would likely be coming with the launch of builder base 2.0 and i found another response saying yep makes sense to give some new stuff to work towards for all the players that have max builder hall 9 then everyone will have a reason to try out the rework and start giving us vital feedback on what's working and what needs further tweaking which of course makes perfect sense because if they don't add any form of new content nobody's going to go over to the builder base and try the reworked version Kind of makes sense. So yes, Builder Hall 10 is confirmed. And then before we get into the Builder Base 2.0 prototype content, there was some other information that might interest you. Starting with potential upgrades to the Air Sweeper, Supercell says they have some ideas what we might try with it to give it more exciting upgrades without becoming even crazier. We have talked about doing upgrades that give it more health, but we think it'd be more fun if it also gained some additional effects. Imagine it being more like the Tornado Trap. No thanks. Do you guys have any plans about adding role for clan member who can design clan capital layout? Clash responds, it's something we have discussed in the past and it's something we have on the wish list for future updates. We envision this to be a specialist role in the clan like a clan engineer or something. So possibly some additional roles coming for clan members in the works besides member, elder, co-leader, and leader, of course. Do you have any plans down the pipeline to make recruiting to your clan easier? Yeah, we have some plans to revisit the player recommender and make it a lot more real-time experience which should be better for clans plus players can't say exactly what update that might land in though and that's basically something that a lot of players have complained about clan recruiting so hopefully they're able to address it in a proper manner that makes it easier for you guys to use is there any possibility that we'll be able to buy sceneries from gem if we add scenery in the gold pass we would possibly make it available for purchase with gems a year later like the gold pass skin we haven't decided what the cost might be in that case so that actually does sound like they're going to be thinking about adding scenery content to the gold pass and also making it available a year later but again not confirmed will there be new super troops like say a super hog rider or super headhunter if so about when can we expect them with darian responding we'll always look at adding new super troops we've got several concepts we're experimenting with but we never know when inspiration might hit we are looking at other super troops when the super miner came in out of left field so 
So apparently they have multiple concepts for super troops, but when they're going to add them to Clash of Clans is completely random. And then four days ago, Clash posted this blog post in game in your news tab, Builder Base 2 More Heroic Troops. Now Clash has been really vocal on this whole process. I mean, they mentioned this thing back in August and they've given us little pieces throughout the last couple of months. Now, according to that Q&A, they did say that they're really trying to get this thing ready and redesigned by April timeframe. So before summer but keep in mind that if it doesn't work out if it's not ready they're going to push it back into later updates so as we get into this blog post there was a few things that I wanted to point out to you and it says one of the best parts about the current builder base is focused tactical fun feeling the gameplay there we already knew that from a previous video but they also mentioned they've been trying out two main things having fewer stronger troops and giving more troops active trigger abilities as we scroll down a little bit deeper it says gaining active triggered abilities like heroes so that's going to be very different from what we have seen in the past and they're trying to eliminate the spammy factor of the builder base now they also did provide us some unforeseen prototype content and in the prototype footage shared with us the cannon cart appears to switch into a mode that fires like a mortar with a greater range the bomber appeared to be able to bounce his bomb into the base like a bowler and then we also saw the boxer giant and baby dragon with abilities but it was a little unclear what those actually were but darian also posted on twitter that the gameplay footage was just a prototype and not guaranteed to make it into the final version of builder base 2.0